Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of January 7th through the 13th and for those of you who might be new to my channel, a memory spread is basically going back in after the week is already done and just documenting um, and kind of scrapbooking everything that has happened. So I'm not currently using this planner functionally. Um, I'm not actually planning ahead in it. I have a separate planner that I use for that um, and this is just kind of my fun planner where I get to um, just journal all the things that I did. So anyways, um, before we start, I want to quickly just apologize for my nails. I know it's been a while since I've had them painted. Um, I love this one brand of like top coat that I always use. It's called Seche Vite, I think. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Um, but right now it is super goopy, which happens when you get towards like the end of it. And um, I pretty much refuse to paint my nails without this top coat because it does help it dry really fast and then also keep it from chipping within a few days. And so I just ordered on Amazon um, like a thinner that will help the polish to like thin out a little bit and so that I can use it again. So anyways, I'm just waiting for that to arrive. And in the meantime, I'm just not painting my nails until I get that. Um, so anyways, that's why my nails are bare today. Um, hopefully that doesn't um, annoy you guys too much. And then for my kit this week, I have a really gorgeous kit from Hazel sticker that I'll be using. Um, this is a silver foiled kit and it comes with three sheets. She sent this to me as a little gift and that was really kind of her. Um, so it comes with nine full boxes and some quarter boxes at the top. We've got here, I think it's this way, we have eight half boxes, some third boxes. These are um, two strips of like glitter washi, I guess, and then some flags at the bottom. And then the third sheet, okay, now it goes this way, has um, some heart checklists, it has a weekend banner, some deco stickers, a lot of functional icons, um, two sidebar trackers, and then some little things. So it doesn't come with any, um, I think this is like a mini kit format and it didn't come with like a full bottom washi. So I'm also going to be pulling in this um, light blue and I think it's either silver foiled or hollow foiled. I can't really tell. Um, but this washi down here, this little sampler is from Oso Washi and she just sells little samplers like this and you can just pick out the colors that you want, which is perfect for me because I don't need full rolls of all of these colors. And um, yeah, so I'm going to use this washi along with the glitter. And the last thing that I also pulled in are the silver foiled glitter headers from also Hazel sticker. I feel like these would go perfectly with the kit because it's silver um, glitter and foil. Um, actually, I think it's a hollow foil, but I think it works um, just fine with silver foil. So anyways, that is my plan for today. And if you're interested in watching me build this spread, then stay tuned. Since I already explained what I'm doing with the bottom washi, I'm just fast forwarding through this part really quickly, but I did want to mention that the um, tool that I use to cut my stickers that you see there, the green one, is called the Slice Precision Cutter. I did pick this up on Amazon, and I originally saw Mandy from Mandy Dreams using it, so I purchased it as well, and I think it works really well. So after I do my washi, I move on to my sidebar. I chose the quote box for the top corner, and then I pulled in one of those um, silver foiled um, headers that I showed you guys earlier. I put down this habit tracker that that I found in my collection because um, the ones that came in the kit were brown and I didn't want to use a brown one. And the workout sticker I put um, where the label is is actually from the kit. I then used a little things with a heart checklist to mark my happy moments, but then I decided to switch it out for one of those um, scallop checklists instead. And at the bottom, I put down, um, oh, I know what I did. I cut out the label part of the habit tracker that came in the kit because it does match the Monday through Sunday box, which is also brown. And that actually came in the sheet of the full boxes. I totally didn't notice that um, when I was going over the pages. And so yeah, that's actually from the kit. Once I'm done with my sidebar, I move on to Monday. So I started by putting down another one of those foiled headers. They're so pretty. And then I found this foiled flag in my collection. I think that's from The Giving Girl. And I can't quite tell from here if it's like silver or gold foiled, but I was kind of mixing metals this week. And the brush pen that I'm using is actually one that I picked up when I was in Taiwan. It's called, let me see really quick. It's the Pilot... Um, brush lettering pen, I guess, because everything else on this is in Japanese and I can't read that. So I will link it down below so that you guys know which one I'm using. And um, anyways, under that, I used a little things with a dumpling sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that I had dumplings for breakfast. And then that day, the elevator in my parents' um, building was broken. They live on the 11th floor. So it was definitely quite a trek to get down and back up. Um, I used that like sad um, egg sticker from also from Hazel sticker to mark 
how I felt uh, walking up 11 flights of stairs. And then I used the full box underneath. That Lazy Day sticker I think was uh, left over from my collection. And then initially I used a pillow sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, but I did switch it out for that Sleeping Maru sticker from Paper and Milk. Monday was a pretty chill day. We spent a lot of time just watching TV, so I used a third box and I think that was from the kit. Um, and then the TV sticker is also from the kit. I then realized that I didn't have enough space to mark everything that I wanted to later in the night. And so I put down a shopping day sticker from Samantha May Sticks right over um, that third box. On that half box, I just noted where we went for dinner. So it was like our second to last dinner and we wanted it to be special. So there was a place that I had been eyeing where you can get like skewers and um, it's really cute. It's like outdoors with string lights and everything. Um, so I proposed going there and it was really fun. The skewer sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. At the very bottom, we just played Mahjong, which is like my favorite game. And I'm still working on ordering some Mahjong stickers. So I just use a piece of deco uh, for the time being and I'll switch it out when I um, get those stickers eventually. Then for Tuesday, I put down the quote box that says, let it snow at the bottom, even though it did not snow in Taiwan when I was there. And if I didn't mention already, um, I spent the first half of this week in Taiwan. Um, this was the end of our trip and we were heading back on Wednesday. So this was just like the last few days we were there. Um, anyways, on Tuesday at the top, I put down a third box with a crying girl sticker from Art Box Stickers to mark that it was our last full day and I was really sad about it. Um, pretty much all my family lives there, so um, I was just really sad to have to say goodbye. Then I used a half box with a Vietnamese food sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we had some Vietnamese food with my extended family, uh, my uncles, my aunts, and my grandma, and it was really good to see them before I left. I scooted to the bottom to put down a header on top of the full box and then uh, moving back to the middle, I put down a little things with a silver foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got boba on that Tuesday. Definitely had to get some before I left and then I also got a haircut that day. Um, my hair was getting pretty long and I was just really ready to um, chop it all off and just like not have to deal with my hair in the morning. Um, that really cute hair dryer sticker I think is from Laven Forest. At the end of the night, we went to say goodbye to my grandma again, so I put that on a third box and also pulled in a gold foil bow sticker from White Deer Stationery. Above that, I used a little things that I found in my collection to mark that we went shopping um, because I was trying to get some last minute gifts and everything. So we did that before the end of the night. And then Wednesday, like I said, was when we were leaving Taiwan and heading home. I started by putting down a full box at the top and then I used a glitter header with a um, third box and that gold foil heart is from Clever Gal Crafts. I use that to mark that we officially flew out of Taiwan and to mark our flight, what I've been doing lately is putting down an airplane sticker in the middle and then marking the airport where we leave and then the airport where we land. Um, that airplane sticker is from Paper and Milk. So in an effort to adjust jet lag as soon as possible, I stayed up the entire flight, which was like 12 hours, and then um, attempted to stay awake all day on Wednesday. So I think I ended up going like 26 hours without sleeping and I was completely delusional by the end of the day, but it kind of worked and I wasn't quite as jet lagged as I normally was. Um, but anyways, I used a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that we did when we got home. So we got some coffee for sure and that silver foiled coffee is from Hazel Sticker. Like I said, it was really hard to stay awake, so I pulled in another one of those um, egg emoji stickers that's like crying um, to mark stay awake because I just, that's all I had to do for the day. And um, I also worked on some of my videos. I was catching up since I was gone for a while and I put down that YouTube girl from Paper and Milk. On Thursday, we went right back to work and needless to say, it was quite a difficult day. I also had like a ton of meetings that day. So um, yeah, it was just pretty tough. But anyways, I started with a glitter header at the top. I then pulled in a quarter box and used another silver foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I absolutely needed some coffee in the morning. And then um, I used a work sticker from Eka Hui Craft Co. It's like a um, handwritten one. So I really like her font and her writing and also pulled 
in a really tired mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark that, like I said, we went back to work. I put down the full box with the snowman, which I think is super adorable. And then underneath that, I put down a flag with a silver foiled meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark a few meetings that I had back to back. To mark my first meeting, I put down this cat with a clock sticker. That's from Echo Hui Craft Co. And um, I drew in the time on the clock, but I realized that it's quite small and not really easy to read. And so I still wrote the time anyway. Um, the silver foiled IEP flag is from a shop called Jador Planning. I got those as a gift. And then um, at the bottom, I used a third box with a computer sticker from the kit to mark my last meeting of the day. Then on Friday, I put down a full box at the very bottom with a glitter header on top. And then moving to the top, I used a quarter, or I'm sorry, I used a half box with a Friday sticker from um, MJ and Hope to mark that I was really excited. It was Friday. I then used a third box with some pencils and a cup sticker to mark a morning meeting that I had. And that sticker is from Lemon Paper Co. I then scooted the Friday sticker over just a little bit so I could make room for um, a silver foiled coffee sticker again from Hazel Sticker because I definitely wanted to note that I got coffee again on Friday. I was still recovering from jet lag and was really exhausted, as you can imagine. Um, moving back to the middle, I used a quarter box with a donut sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that we got donuts that day. One of my coworkers was super sweet and brought in some donuts for our meeting. And then I just used this tired emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark how I felt that day. When I got home, I pretty much passed out. Um, I think I really had a hard time sleeping the night before. And so um, I honestly like skipped dinner and everything and just went straight to sleep when I got home. I used a half box with a nap queen sticker from MJ and Hope. Moving to the weekend, I started Saturday by putting down a full box at the top, and then I used a tired panda sticker from Sweet Fox Paper Re to mark that I was still really jet lagged. Um, so because I slept all night on Friday, I think I woke up at like 2.30 or 3 in the morning, and I was like, oh no, because I'm obviously like going to have a really hard time with the day. But, you know, that's just how jet lag goes. And from my experience, the one coming back from Asia is like the worst. But anyways, then I used a glitter header with a third box. And I found this food sticker from Hazel Stickers Taiwanese Food Sheet. I think it's a green onion pancake, but I totally might be wrong. Um, but I use that to mark that. I made green onion pancakes for breakfast, and then we pretty much had a Netflix binge, um, just being super lazy for most of the day. I put that on a quarter box, and that TV sticker is from Brandy's shop. I then unpacked my luggage, and that sticker is from Love Shira. Um, and then under that, I used a flag sticker, I think again from The Giving Girl, to mark that I ended up taking another nap um, towards the end of the day. No surprises there because, like I said, I woke up super early that morning. Um, I decided to move to Sunday because I didn't know how I wanted to mark the rest of Saturday. Um, so anyways, on Sunday, I used a glitter header at the top, and then I put down a half box, or I'm sorry, that's a third box, with a car sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that. I drove to San Diego. I quickly moved back to the bottom of Saturday and um, instead of the flag that I used to mark my nap, I put down a quarter box and a sleeping mask sticker from, I think that's from White Deer Stationery. Moving back to the top of Sunday, I put down a half box with a workout girl from Laven Forest to mark that I attended a workout bar class to celebrate my friend's birthday. Um, she just turned 30. This is like the year that all my friends and I turned 30. And so we are all just like thinking of ways to celebrate and get everyone together for some fun. And then after the workout class, we all went out to lunch together. Um, so I put the name of the restaurant and used a gold foil heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. I then put down a full box underneath that. And then below that, I put down a half box with a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that before I drove home. Um, another one of my friends and I decided to grab some Starbucks and just kind of had like a full catch up session because we um, hadn't seen each other for a bit. I was like in Taiwan for a while. And so we got to catch up on our winter break and everything. So um, I wanted to mark that. And then when I got home, we just watched Marie Kondo. And so I put down a TV icon from Sparkly Studio. 
This is where I go back into Saturday and continue to fill out the rest of the night. So at the very bottom, I used a half box with a beer sticker to mark that I celebrated another one of my friend's birthdays. And we just went out to the bars to grab some food and drinks. And above that, I used a little things to mark that I got ready for the night after I woke up from my nap. I ended up lifting up the quarter box that I had put down for my nap. And I just used a Coffee Monsters Co. Sleepy Emoji to mark um, the nap instead. So I did switch up quite a few times how I wanted to mark it and I'm not quite sure why I was being really indecisive about this part of my planner. I think it was because I was starting to run out of um, functional boxes like third boxes and half boxes and so I really had to decide like how I wanted to use the remainder of it. Um, but anyways, I really quickly fill out my sidebar. I really didn't work out very much this week because I was just trying to recover from my jet lag and um, get back into the swing of my routine. But anyways, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left. I do have quite a few left over and then I'm doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all of the foiling that is in this spread. I think this spread turned out so gorgeous and I love that I was able to just use a mini kit to create this entire spread um, and also like no bottom washi because I feel like I tend to rely on the bottom washi to pull a spread together and so this was definitely a little bit more challenging but anyways I'm finally done with my vacation spreads. I'm officially at the part where I'm finally back to work and so my spreads are going to kind of go back to normal in terms of like work and meetings and stuff like that. So um, yeah, all the fun stuff is done, but I hope you guys enjoyed all of these holiday spreads. Um, please let me know if you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.